folks and welcome back. I'm out on the river today, the River Wissey in the Fens. We've come out for a paddle from Stoke Ferry to Denver Sluice with my buddy Ginge. So the paddle today is going to be about eight or nine miles, so it's not, it's not too far, but we have got a headwind at the moment. Um, the forecast did show that the wind is supposed to switch around to blow from a sort of south southwest direction, um, which will help us later on, but um, yeah, for now it's a, a little bit harder going. Um, we've put a vehicle at both ends of the, of the leg we're paddling, so we have a vehicle back at Stoke Ferry. Um, there's a campsite there where you can park for a small fee and you can launch, launch from there as well. Um, and then we've put another vehicle at the other end. There's a, an environment agency car park at Denver Sluice that you can use free of charge, which is a bonus. And um, there's also a, a pub there at that end called the Jennings Arms. So I dare say we'll stop for a crafty half when we get there. I've got Maggie with me today because, um, you know, she's useful ballast <laughs> and uh, I haven't had her out in the canoe with me for a little while. So um, that's nice. And Ginger's got his two dogs with him, Dram and Tor, in his boat. Um, this morning was the first time all the dogs had met but uh, they got on pretty well, so that was good. <laughs> Well, I had a bit of a rush to get my canoe repaired in time for this paddle. Um, I knew I had a crack in the hull. I'd noticed it the last time I was out a few weeks ago, also with Ginge actually, we, we paddled the, the Little Ooze a few weeks ago and uh, water was getting through the hull and um, just seeping into the canoe. So I knew I had to fix that. But once I started <laughs> taking a closer look at the outer hull, I discovered seven more cracks. So uh, a small repair job turned into something else really but um, that's all done now I've got it all done got it all fixed sanded back refiberglassed and then revarnished and uh, yeah it's all good it's lovely to be back on the river again this is um, a beautiful area I've, I've not really explored much of the fens um, it's a bit further uh, west to, to where I live um, and it's much more open, much less woody uh, and either side of the channel there are raised up banks, it's, you know, it's flat as a pancake this area um, and in order for these channels not to burst their banks, I guess during heavy rainfall and to keep the water where it should be, there are these berms and um, so actually you haven't, you haven't got so much view of the surrounding countryside because it's the banks are high um, but you know you can see a bit you can see the trees and stuff and if you stand up in the canoe um, you can see over those berms and see a bit more but it's 
very, very nice. I'm quite glad it's a cloudy day today, um, just because it would have been too hot for Maggie otherwise. I mean, I can cool her off with water out of the river, but it's much more comfortable for her when it's cloudy. Yeah, perfect day, apart from that wind. So Ginger's a, a mate of mine who I met through social media, through YouTube and through Facebook. And um, he's originally from this area. He's a Fenland boy, um, but moved down to Cornwall 30 odd years ago and lived most of his life down there, enjoying the Cornish coastline. And uh, he comes up now and again um, to visit family who still live up in the area. And the last few times he has, we've got together and gone out for a paddle. It's a top bloke, um, good company, good laugh. Um, and he makes superb bits of outdoor gear. He's a wizard on a sewing machine, uh, makes hammocks and under quilts and top quilts and you name it. I've had quite a few bits of, bits of his sort of prototypes and things over the past couple of years, um, which he's passed on to me to, to try out or bits that he no longer needs um, and they've, just been superb. Um, I know a few people have contacted me in the past about uh, me making various bits of kit. Well, I, I don't really have time to do it. You know, YouTube takes a lot of my time and I've, I've got a family and I work full time anyway, aside from the YouTube. So I just haven't got time to make gear. But um, if anybody is, uh, you know, needing anything hammock related, um, kitchen utensil tool rolls like the one that I made in my video. Jin just made a run of those. Um, his, sort of, his sort of tweak on it um, and he sells those. So yeah, if you, if you want something like that and you haven't got the means or ability to make your own, um, go and check him out. He's, he's just started on Instagram. Um, so uh, I'll put a link below um, for his Instagram page and if you contact him through that, um, I'm sure he'll be able to sort you out. Oh no, pigeon. <laughs> Same colour, different it's bird. cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we stop for a bit of grub in a minute, Simon? That sounds like a plan. I'm getting pretty peckish. Alrighty. We'll look out for a spot, shall we? Yeah. Look at that. Like a lawn, isn't it? <laughs> Not really a lot. Oh, nice. Mags, <laughs> uh, it isn't really a lawn. <laughs> Come on, Max. <laughs> now, what are you going to do?
Would you like some, Simon? <laughs> oh, Scotch egg. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That is good. To tell your niece, she's a wizard. Well, there's two more for me, brother, but I should have had them as well. <laughs> Oh, brilliant, mate. Lovely. Thanks, All right. Get some sausages oh, on the go. It's going to hit the spot. And I have sauce. What? God, I can't believe that. I, I am just the worst person to talk. I was surprised I even managed to cobble up a breakfast together when we'd done that through the pens, like, so. That was a good breakfast. That was a great was breakfast, good. but I'm surprised I managed to sort it out. I'm normally useless. Ketchup or barbecue? Ooh, um, barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> well we had a nice lunch and uh, Maggie's had a chance to dry off <laughs> and we're just coming up to a bit where the river widens up quite a bit near the uh, sugar beet factory there's a lot of sugar beet grown in this part of England and um, and that's then refined and turned into turned into sugar and uh, this is a processing plant just coming up ahead. <laughs> Let's hope it didn't just fall in, eh? had to uh, step on it a little bit. Time has got away from us and I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be somewhere at six today. <laughs> um, and I'm an hour's drive, well where we, where we finish is an hour's drive from, from where I need to be. So that only leaves us about three hours and we've been on the water four hours and we're not even halfway. <laughs> so uh, yeah, gonna step up a gear. We did have a stop for lunch and we were sort of taking it easy this morning. Had that little incident with Maggie.
don't think. No. <laughs> Paddling in between paddles is the problem. No, I, like, I don't think I've been out since we last went for that paddle. Well, we got to the end of the River Wissy, and um, we're now paddling downstream on the River Great Ouse. The uh, Wissy flows into the Ouse, and the Ouse then flows and discharges into the into the Wash and the North Sea. Uh, we're not going that far. We're only going as far as Denver Sluice, which is uh, just at the sort of bottom edge of Downham Market, really and uh, that's where I've parked the Land Rover. And there's a slipway so we can get out of the river easily and then drive down and pick up Ginger's vehicle at the other end. It's been a, it's been a really nice paddle. It's been a, a bit of a push <laughs> for the second half, but that's, that's, you know, that's just what it is. I, I had to get back and, um, you know, we, we didn't really dally this morning, but we didn't, you know, we just took it easy and we stopped and we, we probably had an hour's lunch break and just took it easy and then obviously that has um, put a little bit of pressure on this afternoon. But it's still been enjoyable despite the, despite the push and despite the headwind which we've had to battle against for much of the day. Um, it's been nice. Now that we're on the Great Ooze the wind thankfully is behind us, it's on our backs so it's pushing us along nicely which is uh, a great relief. <laughs> So the last two two kilometers up to the sluice should be a lot easier. Um, the paddle ended up being longer than we thought. We both had in our minds that it was six miles from the Great Ouse to Stoke Ferry where we started. It was in fact 10 miles, so the signpost at the end of the river said. So uh, that on top of the, what, mile and a half back to Denver, it, it comes out at about 11, um, 11 and a half miles or something like that. Well, we're just about at the end of the paddle. We're uh, just approaching Denver Sluice, which is where we get out. It's been uh, a fantastic paddle. Thanks, Ginge, for uh, having us along. All right, Si, thanks for coming along, mate. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been good, it's been good. Day. Yeah. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.